My name is Sri Kumar Sadashivam and I work as a technical expert in the powertrain engine control unit development area for emerging market customers. I joined Bosch way back straight out of college in 2000 and since then this journey has been like a long technology run. There has been no looking back. Today I function as a technical consultant trying to offer solutions to the technologies that go into the products for the emerging markets. My role is a technical consultant and therefore I am responsible for the technology and solutions that go into the various ECU products for the emerging market. So this means a day-to-day -day work for me would look like a lot of technical evaluations, design reviews, I'm involved in strategy and portfolio definition of these products and I also do interface with customers particularly on technical topics. Bosch invests a lot in order to train us and make us deliver at the highest level when it comes to projects. I'm a part of the DRBFM level 4 training program this year and I can already feel the amount and magnitude of effort that really goes into this training program in order to make us inculcate this DRBFM mindset. Now Bosch is a technology leader and the very fact that you are associated with a company like Bosch gives you this bright prospect of being associated with the latest cutting edge technology, state of the art technology in the automotive world. And we also get to work on these technologies every day at work and in many cases, Bosch defines these technologies before putting them into the market. Well, as a specialist, we get to work on technologies that are really forward-looking. Just to give you an example, in the commercial vehicle area, when we developed the EGC-10 gas ECU, we developed this together with our colleagues in Robert Bosch Brazil. And the idea is that this would be used in an engine, which is a dual fuel engine, which means it will have both diesel as well as CNG injected in order to create combustion. And this engine would not have a spark plug. Instead, the diesel would auto ignite and then function like a liquid spark and then ignite the CNG. So this, for example, is something really futuristic in internal combustion engine technology. And we get to work on these kind of products as well.